from Detroit, Michigan, USA. In my house. In my house. In my house. Hosted by T. Harlita. In my house. Hosted by T. Harlita. Hosted by T. Harlita. Hosted by T. Harlita. From Detroit, Michigan, USA. Live, 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 live. In my house. In my house. Hosted by T. Harlita. Where the true stories are told and great music is played. What's up, everybody, for the In My House and Techno Show with your host, T. Carlita. This is DJ Scent, Gives Two Cent House History. Gotta show mad love to one of my all-time favorite vocalists. Just all-around amazing talent. I always say Chicago's own Miss Daje, whose real name is Karen Gordon. That... She is an R&B and dance music singer. She sang in various soul bands over a decade prior to joining house music producer Kashmir. The duo began working together and released several hit singles, including songs like Brighter Days, which peaked at number two for two weeks on the American dance chart. Time, You Got Me Up, Is It All Over My Face, all were club and dance floor hits. I mean, they were some mega hits. I remember when they were doing the release, they had started putting out the promo album for You Got Me Up. Kashmir and Daje came to Heavens to perform the song along with a few other hits. I was a club kid at this time. And man, I had a time card up at Heavens with the legendary DJ, one of my all-time favorites, Ken Collier. Club used to be located on Seven Mile in Woodward. It was an after hours, so I mean, the music was banging. But for this particular night, I wasn't aware that they were gonna have a special guest here. I'm never paying attention to flyers at that time. You just come to party. This is the place to be. So we're in there, we're vibing, Ken's killing us. All of a sudden, the stage lights come down. We're like, okay, it's something happening. Ken turns the music off, they get up there, they start talking about, hey, we got this new group coming out, gonna come out and perform. Man, Daje kicks off with the acapella of You Got Me Up. You, oh my God, just, you make my heart wanna sing. I can't sing, but hell, that made me wanna sing at that time. So us as the crowd, because we have been bumping this beat already, had heard it we chime in you got me up oh my god it was i mean so she sings all of a sudden you know how that tr- that tune starts off it comes with the banging beat the crowd goes crazy the performance was amazing and i've loved her ever since then i've had the pleasure of working with her at several other events in our longevity of being around the party scene and every time I've seen her perform, I mean, she does an amazing job. But just the hits that she's produced and put out herself, since then, she's continued to work, continued to travel and tour all over the world, still moving dance floors today. Big, big man ups to my girl, Daje. Man, I mean, there's so many different hits that came, and I remember when the, when the release came out of Day by day, the double pack. Oh my God, another, I mean, club hit. So many, you know, when you are someone like Daje, who 
has just been such a significant force as a female, especially in the music industry of house, coming from Chicago, continue to be to perform to this day, decades. This was probably in the 90s when I saw her and to still be relevant today. I mean, uniting with some of the amazing talents of new producers that's out here. You know, to see her still doing her thing on track source and Beatport and all the other uh, record companies that distribute our music that we get it from. I love seeing her, love still supporting what she's done as far as musically. The thing she's also did was that has been so impressive is her charity work at so many different causes and events, helping in Chicago's gay and lesbian areas, as well as just doing what she can for any group that may reach out to her. Those are the type of things that we don't see sometimes, all the behind the scene work that they put into just making the communities and making us better. So big ups to my girl Dajay, continue to do what you do. Mad, mad love to her. You guys, thanks so much for supporting the show. If you need to get any of my music, CDs, now available USB drives, just hit me up at djcent.com. This has been DJ Scent Gives Two Cent House History for the In My House and Techno Show with your host, T. Carlita. Big ups. Thank you. For Hair Wars, the musical, starring some of the world's greatest hair entertainers, Sunday, April 15th, at the Ford Community and Performing Arts Center in the Detroit suburb of Dearborn, Michigan. The big screen show starts at 5 p.m., and Hair Wars goes live at 6.05. Cash bar, hot food, and lots of excitement. Yes! It's the big one. Hump the Grinders Hair Wars. Over 250 hot models recreating themes and scenes from popular musicals in a production that's designed to blow your hairy mind. <laughs> Hair Wars, the musical. Sunday, April 15th. Tickets on sale now at www.hairwarsustour.com. And don't forget to wear your hair. Sponsored by Ampro Pro Style, Dorsey School of Beauty, and In My House Techno Music Show. This is T. Carlita for the In My House Techno Music Show, and we are out the house again, enjoying another out the house experience, bringing it to you. We are at the WHFR radio station at Henry Ford College in Dearborn. All right, this is T. Carlita, and we are back with my man, B.A.M. in the house. What's up, B.A.M.? How's it going? So, look, I'm hanging out with you tonight yeah. in the, uh, what is this? W-H-F-R. And it's 89.3. 89.3. Is that on the regular radio dial? It is. Oh. FM radio dial. Oh, Since it. 2004. I was going to ask you that. Don't be asked. Don't be oh, I'm jumping ahead. Oh, I'm jumping ahead. I'm jumping ahead. Just kidding. You know? So, you've been doing this since 2004, and you're a DJ, too, correct? I am. I've kind of uh, hung up my headphones as far as DJing out. Uh, I used to do some clubs, and tramming and some weddings, but uh, I just I just come out and hang out with different DJs here. Nice. So for um, the WHFR, tell me some of the formats, because I know you are in charge of a few types of shows. So what are they? Well, I, I did some production work on some different talk shows and some different music shows that, in the past, but. Um, really, this is my main focus now, but WHFR does block variety uh, programming. So every few hours, our programming here changes. And it can change genres. We have a lot of 
different genres um, throughout the day um, and classical overnight. So um, it really does change. But it's a community focus, it's community uh, driven radio that's focusing on local artists, focusing on local talk, local views, local uh, news. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what they've been doing here for over 30 years. So. Okay, and you the man behind the controllers, eh? Every Thursday from 9 to midnight. Wow. So tell me um, if anyone wants to get a, a show on the station, how would they go about doing that? Well, the uh, station here is in partnership with uh, Henry Ford College. And uh, there's a class called TCM 189. Um, it's a training course that you learn about FCC regulations and how to use the equipment in a FM broadcast station. Um, and that class is offered three times a year. And it's an eight-week course. And as long as you go through that, pass it, then you can apply to be a part of the station. And you don't have to be behind the board. You don't have to be behind the mic. We have tons of jobs in production, we have tons of jobs in uh, promotions, um, and you know, obviously you can also submit to be a volunteer DJ. Everyone here, aside from a few managers, are volunteers. Oh wow, okay. So are they um, students or non-students, or is it a combination of both? Yeah, definitely a combination of both. Um, we have people that are just volunteers from the community, like myself. And then we have uh, students that are going to school actively or uh, you know, uh, alumni. So. Okay. So how can some? What's what's the information that somebody can get in touch if they are interested in having their own station, own show here on station? Um, just head over to our website whfr.fm. Uh, all the info is there, along with uh, how you can listen live and how you can you know sign up for the class, how you can contact the uh, station. Ooh, thanks a lot, Bam. I know you got to get back to the controls. Thank you for giving me a couple of minutes of your time, okay? So that's T. Carlita with Bam. And if you are interested in hosting your own radio show, as he said, get on that website and see how you can do it because it's not that complicated, right? It's not too bad. And make sure you listen to the mix every Thursday right here if you like electronic music. Uh, 9 to midnight on WHFR. Every Thursday. Hi everyone, this is Stevie Anderson from the UK, bringing to you this month's For Those Who Know, featuring Scan 7, courtesy of T. Carlita's In My House Techno Music Show Incorporated. Scan 7. Detroit City, everybody from around the world, you won't leave here the same if you think you ready. If you love techno, make some, make some noise! Legendary track master, new scan seven. When discussing the origin of Detroit techno, the more obvious names spring to the forefront of one's mind. Yet in the back of the mind linger names that sentiment urges to include rather than exclude. One such name is Lou Robinson, Perhaps not instantly recognizable to those outside Detroit, but his code name Trackmaster Lou, better known as Scan7, most certainly is. He is one of the early pioneers of techno music and continues to be an influential sonic innovator. Before the advent of Scan7, Lou Robinson had already established himself as an artist and a producer of some stature. His recording career began in 1986 as a member of the Preps alongside David McMurray of the band Was Not Was. Their track called Hotbox was released on Clifton Thomas's label Express Records and despite its crossover appeal Robinson left and took his talents to form a new collaboration with Sherrod Ingram in 1987 under the name NASA. Their only release was called Time to Party again on Express Records this time featuring a mix by one Atkins, further enhancing Robinson's growing reputation. 1988 heralded a sea change in underground dance music culture in the American Midwest. Chicago was pushing the boundaries with the acid house sound, while over in Detroit the techno sound had firmly taken root at the groundbreaking night spot, the Music Institute. For Lou Robinson, a regular patron at the Institute, Techno was a natural progression for his unbounding talent as a producer. He met up with Terence Parker 
and Mark Kinchin to discuss the formation of a group project he called Separate Minds. They went on to produce what many consider a classic EP release for Express Records. Terence Parker's debut track, We Need Somebody, and Mark Kinchin's debut, First Bass, were a testament to Robinson's guidance and vision, as both Parker and Kinchin have gone on to have successful recording careers of their own. A second Separate Minds EP entitled Troubled World, released on Robinson's new label Direct Hit Records in 1993, coincided with a new recording partner, Vanell Shelton, and a new home for his label, Submerge. The Troubled World EP is far too often overlooked, as the highlight of the EP is the track Scattered Thoughts, a prime example of Robinson's progressive techno style, and a masterpiece to rival any track produced before or since. Robinson shut down his label when Mike Banks invited him to join Underground Resistance. So began a metamorphosis with a new outlook, fresh directives, a new code name, Trapmaster Lou, and a new name to record under, Scan7. The first offering from Scan7 was titled Voices Beyond and featured on a 1993 submerged compilation called Escape Into the Void. Scan7's debut vinyl mission on the Underground Resistance label quickly followed. A four-track EP produced by Trapmaster Lou and Maurice King achieved a compelling flourish of Afro-futuristic grooves. The EP's standout track, Black Moon Rising, has obtained classic status, with its melodically crafted refrains echoing the sounds of Detroit Techno's founding fathers. Scan 7's follow-up mission for Underground Resistance was the Undetectable EP in 1995, displayed a slight change toward a minimal sound, best exemplified in the track Undetectable. Scan 7's final mission for the UR camp was the Invisible Thoughts EP released exclusively in Detroit on the UR affiliated label Somewhere in Detroit. Trezor Records, legendary label from Berlin, Germany, have been longtime supporters of Detroit techno. Indeed, the Berlin Detroit Alliance have been forged by the music of some of Detroit's best known artists. It was Blake Baxter who was instrumental in introducing Scan 7 to Trezor. Baxter had compiled an album featuring Detroit artists entitled 313 for Trezor in 1996. Three of the tracks were written and produced by Trackmaster Lou under different aliases. Trezor were impressed by his previous work for UR as Scan 7 and asked Trackmaster Lou for new Scan 7 material to put out on their label. He duly obliged. The first Scan 7 album entitled Dark Territory was released on Trezor in 1996. It became an instant classic. The relationship between Scan 7 and Trezor Records strengthened with a Scan 7 12 inch EP called Beyond Sound, which came out in 1998, and a second album entitled Resurfaced in 1999, and other tracks submitted for Trezor's series of techno compilation albums. The depth of Scan 7's music during this period is truly outstanding. Consummate in producing funk-driven techno for dancing feet, as well as an exploration of sonic themes for the mind. The transition from the studio to the stage as a live act has elevated Scan 7 into the consciousness of a new techno generation, while still retaining a shadowy existence. Scan 7 is accompanied by fellow sonic soldiers dressed in black militarized outfits and wearing masks to add mystique to their appearance. Their stunning live performance at the inaugural Movements Festival is still hailed as one of the greatest ever seen. The live set included two tracks that have become anthems, I Am From Detroit and You Have The Right. Both tracks were eventually released on Ellipsia Records in 2001. The record was also put on display at the first techno exhibition, Detroit's Gift to the World in 2003. Scan 7's record labels Crate Savers Music, co-founded with Positronics in 2005, and Crate Savers International, founded in 2010, are united in their aim to preserve the culture of Detroit techno and nurturing new talent locally and overseas. Whether this techno legend is at work in the studio of Hidden Territory or donning his mask on stage for a live performance, Scan 7's music remains unveiled to be a shining symbol for Detroit techno and a guiding light for the techno artists of tomorrow. 
That's all from me until my next mission. My special thanks to T. Carlita for her encouragement and many thanks to all of you for your support of the show. Detroit. May the spirit of 313 be with you all. I am from Detroit. I am from Detroit. You are. I am from Detroit. My house. I am from Detroit. I am Where the true stories are told. I am from Detroit. Great music is I am from Detroit. 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 Motown. 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 Detroit. 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 I am from 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 Detroit. I am from
of darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places and above all know that the resistance is all over the world to face spiritual warfare the rulers of darkness are planning something big and the resistance is planning something bigger so stay strong and faithful you are 
In My House, hosted by T. Carlita, where the true stories are told and great music is played. The Resistance. Public-private partnership to place more than 40 kiosks throughout Wayne County to allow you to pay your essential bills and delinquent taxes in one safe, convenient location. DT Energy introduced this kiosk program to allow Metro Detroiters greater freedom to pay your energy and other bills when and how you desire by cash, personal check, or credit card. At the Detroit Water Department, we are pleased to join our friends so you can now pay your water bill on the DivDat kiosk network. The kiosks are located in our respective downtown offices, as well as Rite Aid stores and community centers across the county. As the president of the DivDat Kiosk Network, our mission is to stamp out convenience fees and help you. Make sure to take advantage of the no-fee kiosks to stay current on your tax, energy, and water bills. Stop by today to learn more about how to enter into a payment plan in the newly extended interest rate reduction program. Please visit us at DTE Energy, the Wayne County Treasurer's Office, or DWSD. We're, We're here, here to help. You are In My House, hosted by T. Carlita, where the true stories are told and great music is played. Today you won't see me forgetting me. Oh 
hosted by Steve Hermes, where the true stories are told and great music is played.
are In My House, hosted by T. Carlita, where the true stories are told and great music is played. and black complexion cannot forfeit nature's claim. Skin may differ, but affection dwells in blacks the same. I sought my soul, but my soul I could not see. I sought my God, and he eluded me. I sought my brother, and I found all three. We are carrying forth a revolutionary destiny of a whole people, Consciously and deliberately While the Negro is busy trying to gain A larger view of the world He is slowly losing himself And yet he has become so full of himself Open your eyes, there's no time to sleep Can't you see we've been blessed by God To move beyond our geographical boundaries? The word black has geographic power. It pulls everybody in. Blacks here, blacks there, blacks everywhere. Blacks wherever they may be. One drop, one drop, one drop. Just one simple drop. Make of a brand new black. Almighty drop, almighty black And because they've given us kindly So many of our people back Blackness, a title Preoccupation, a commitment that blacks are to comprehend Blackness stretches over the land Blackness, the black of it, the rust red of it The tan and yellow tan of it The deep brown, middle brown of it the